So welcome. Um, I'm going to be doing the marathon, and I'm starting today. I haven't got the lights on, so hopefully the light level is okay to do this quick intro. This is what we'll be doing. The quick, this is the quick intro to me doing this. And then I'll move on to do, starting the very first script, uh, which is Unicorn script. That's what's in there. If I just get this book out, hopefully you can see this on camera. Camera itself I'm using is a GoPro Hero Session 5. It's on a bit piece of string over it. The idea is, uh, hopefully you can see this, introduction, da, 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 da. the first script at is Unicorn script, then it's Celtic script, minute, major school, minuscule, then we have the Clarigans, there's three, we have the Gothic script, which is four, the French Petard script, which is five, Humanist minuscule script, which is six, Italic script, seven, Copper Plate, eight, Italic minuscule, da, 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 so that'll be nine, Humanist, there's Unitist Minister script, and then there's practice all the way down. So I think there's about nine scripts in total. Okay, there's nine nine scripts in this book, and the first one out is Unicorn. So this is how I set up set out the page. Um, I've got the title, uh, Unicorn scripts, Unicorn Ductus. I'm using a two millimeter nib. Um, I've got plenty of ink in there, so I can pick and choose which one I want. I'm changing this criteria of Unicorn script. Let me just show you Unicorn. No, page 10, I did. Page 10. Yeah, there's Unicorn. There's Unicorn script. Hopefully you can see this. Later on, when I do the actual start the practice, in about five minutes' time, after, the, after this first intro, um, I will move the camera closer to the page so you can see me do the strokes, hopefully. So it says uh, Unicorn script, Unicorn Ductus, Mitchell nib 1.5. I'm using a 2 nib, so I've just changed the criteria of the 11 millimeters for the X side, 4 millimeters for the ascenders, 4 millimeters for the descenders, to a 5 10 5 setup for the 2, two for the 2 millimeter nib. I think that will be plenty. So on this page, I've got these X's. That's the X side. And I'll, I'll, I'll know by the 5 and 5 that I don't, I'm not going to go all the way up to the top of that line. So it's halfway. If I've got to do a descender, I go halfway. If I've got to do an ascender, I go halfway. That's what I've adapted my setup for these two nibs. I'll do that for every one. I've set up the second script, which is a Celtic major skill script. I'm doing a 2 nib. I'm doing the 10 millimeter for the X side. And then six and six for to the um, ascenders and descenders. So I've got the paper ready. I've got this ready. I think it's just time to get stuck into the Unicorn script. So, like a flash, the camera's going to switch now to me starting this script. So I hope you enjoy this. The actual writing of it will be done in uh, quick time, fast laps for you, and then. Um, I will introduce the next script, which will be the Celtic. But right now, we're doing the Unicorn script, and enjoy, sit back, watch the fast laps, and uh, hopefully at the end, you've enjoyed watching the video, and um, yeah, let's get this started. Let's do this marathon. Go for a stop recording.
So welcome. Uh, now it's going to be the Celtic uh, minuscule, major school uh, script, which I think is going to be classed as the lowercase. I think so. I think that's the lowercase. I don't know. But either way, I'm going to do the major school of it. And then straight after that, uh, we will do the uh, minuscule of it, which is a bit further on just after this one. Yeah, forget the camera shaking. It's basically the GoPro crashed on me. There's the Celtic minuscule script. So we'll do that after. But right now, let's get back to it. We've got quite a lot. That's not the same script, is it? Is it the script script? That's the Unicorn script, I know the X. So we've got to go a bit further on then. Yeah, that's Celtic, is it? Yes, where are we? Come on, get my page. There we go, that's what I'm doing, there. So, uh, for you, it'll be a speed a speed go again for me doing the Celtic Major Skill script with a 2mm nib. So, ho hopefully you enjoy this fast speed run. For you, it'll be fast, for me, it'll be long. And, uh, okay, let's do this.
So welcome. Uh, this is now going to be the Celtic minuscule of, this, of the subject, of the uh, task. I've done the major school, uh, for which I, I enjoyed. Let me just get this prepped. As you can see, it's got some nifty little things to it, you know. It's a nice script to, to do. Um, I do like the Celtic. Um, and I think I might enjoy this one more than the, the major school. The major school had little bits in there, like noggins, that I didn't quite like. So let's put that up there, ready to go. Let's have a recap. Here's the, um, this, not that one. I want that one. I want the uh, unicorn. I quite like the unicorn. It's very close related to the Celtic. It just is. But that's that one done. There's no major school to do it. Over here is the my first ever attempt at the major school, A to Z. So major school of the Celtic mini school script Doctors. Quite nice job done. Now I'm going to be doing the Celtic mini school script Doctors. So for you, it'll be a flashback, flash forward in the next one, in the next segment. Um, but yeah, with the GoPro going down, I'm having to shift to the iPhone to record it. I don't mind that either. I just I put the date there yesterday. Today is the 27th. So uh, my goal is to get at least three scripts today done. Um, and then do all the editing thereafter. And then three or four, maybe tomorrow and the day after. <laughs> it's been a marathon and a half as with everything crashing and going. Either way, let's get this started. Let's get Let's go for it. Hope you enjoyed the speed run, and then we'll have a recap and an in intro of the next uh, script. So, let's do this.
Welcome back. Now it's going to be the Clarigan minuscule script. There is no, there is no, um, there is no finger script to this major school, so it's just the one. So I've got the sheet set up, um, ready to go. Let me just show you what it is. They've got a Mitchell nib of two millimeter. They say their settings are, uh, are an eight millimeter, seven millimeter, seven millimeter. Because I'm using each each one of these lines on this paper is ten millimeters. I'm going to go a ten mil right for the for the x side and then an eight mil and an eight mil so i'm not if it, it does want me to go below the line and, and not touch it i won't go if it's into the bottom of the line i won't touch the bottom of my line it's eight millimeters so they're all there about three standardized lines of uh from a standard refill pad should do so let's get the clarigan underway i like this script it's got some I think I might like this one. I think I did one before to Clarigan. That's for the very first time. So hopefully um, I do this justice and I don't butcher it because I've got some lovely curls in it. The X is beautiful. There's two different types of Xs. There's two different types of Ys. So if you do see me uh, repeat the odd letter, it's because of the different flavours. Like you've got a standardised form and then you've got tall form and, and short form or whatever or a variety of it and if i prefer the variety over the standard form i'll do both if i can so hopefully um you sit back and enjoy the speed run of me doing the clarigan uh so let's do this
So welcome back to the intro. Um, I've been leaving it a day just because uh, basically I'm now going to tackle my nemesis, the big one. As far as I'm, caught, I'm concerned, it's the big one. It's the gothic script. Probably can't see that, but it's, got, it's the gothic script. It's a beautiful script. It really is. And um, anyone that says the gothic stuff is not beautiful, take a good look at this. It is absolutely gorgeous. So, uh, some of these uh, letter forms for the Gothic has got six, eight, nine strokes. It's crazy how many strokes this has. It really is a crazy script for the, how many strokes there are. And that's just all the, what I call the lowercase. I don't know whether I'm going to be doing those things called the capitals. Because it isn't part... Is it because it's not laid out like this, like this side, you know, isn't laid out like this. Um, I'm wondering, do I do it? Because it's just got the basic strokes, see, or well, say the basic, all the strokes for one letter. It also contains, also on the right hand side, I think he said French petard. So that's the black uh, gothic capitals, and that's French petard. So the, the like combining the two scripts together. Uh, for the capitals so I might just leave the capitals for now out of this marathon and just do the gothic lowercase so let me just turn the page where I need to be there it is I'll just put him up there right I'll be ready for another speed run gothic script a two millimeter I'm doing an eight millimeter ten millimeter eight millimeter setup so basically three lines again I'm going to do, get this set up again with X's and stuff. So hopefully you enjoy the next speed run, my nemesis, which is the gothic script. So let's do this.
So welcome back guys. Uh, that was epic. <laughs> that was an epic ride, man. This last one I did, which is the, the Gothic Ductus, almost black letter. I've never sat there and done A to Z in black letter or Gothic ever. So that was my first ever attempt to do it. Different style to the black letter, but very closely related in the same family of scripts. I actually like it. I like the script. Um, messed up here, and I started to do the. I started to do the U, and I, I, start, I skipped to the V for some reason. Either way, that's the V, and then over there is the U. So you're seeing the U there. Either way, that was an epic thing to do. We then move on to the French petard. Like I said, if you remember in the last script, um, which is the um, the Gothic. You've got the Gothic um, capitals this side and French petard this side. The reason why I'm not doing the capitals for the Gothic or the French petard is because it doesn't look like this. I've moved that camera. Um, it doesn't look like this and it, has, it doesn't have a detail to it. So I'm going to bypass the capitals for those two scripts and go for it. Actually, the copper plate does that too. It just shows you the, the lowercase, do you know what I mean? So at the moment, we are on the French, I hopefully I pronounced that correctly, the French Batard script. Wow, it looks, some of it looks completely different. And I think I might enjoy this one. Look at that beauty of that script. It is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So, its setting is... To 8, 8 and 6 with a 2.5 nib. Now I'm going to go 10, 10 for the basis because these are these are 10 millimeters each line anyway. And then I'm going to go an 8 millimeter. And it just going to, if it has any descenders, I won't go all the way to the bottom of the line. Even if I do, people, it doesn't matter because this is just me having a bash, having a go, trying it for the first time, doing the marathon. If I really like the script and moving it, I mean, I can tell you now, out of all the ones I've done so far, I actually prefer the first one I did, the Unicle. I really like the Uni Unicle script, Unicle Ductus, at the moment. But if I really like it, what I'll do is I'll get the exact same nib and I'll make a template up, laminate the template, and then I'm all in if I really, really do like the script. So this is just basics, just have a rough idea. And that's why I'm doing it as a rough guide. Just get in here and do it. And I'll have a crack at it. So I'm doing the French, I don't know if I pronounce that, French Petard script or French Petard Ductus. And uh, yeah, I'm going to sort out my X's and then we're going to get going, people. I sort out my camera angle, get that right. Probably a little bit less. That's, that's more like it there. Okay, I've moved that a little bit. Let's have a look. And then we'll just go, that's it, perfect people. I am ready to do this. Let's do this, people.
Well, that one was uh, pretty good, wasn't it? I quite enjoyed doing that last one. Um, I just had a little break and uh, got myself a refill, etc. The French Patel script. I really like it. A really nice script to uh, get to grips with. Do, am I going to make a template for it? I might do, people. But there's a lot of niggly little bits. We've got these stupid little noggins everywhere. Again, noggins, a bit like the um, other one. So I don't know about this one, people. The noggins. The noggins irritate me. To do the noggins. These noggins are a bit different. See, the other ones are noggins. You do a... Let me just show you what I mean by a noggin. In the um, Gothic, it was just a case of doing the simple line. That's it. But for these... For this one, which was the French petard, you have to bring up your nib a little bit with a line, come over and go over again with the line. So there's one noggin, simple, that's a noggin. But this one, you have to go up a little bit with your line, then the noggin, then go back up with the line. So you're going up, noggin, line, and each one looks like that. So you can form this motion. There's basic strokes within this script that um, there's way too much fiddly stuff and I don't know so but I do like it I do like it people if I had to do something with French petard I might just do a title in it I wouldn't like to write continually with French petard but I do like it so let's put in back with the rest of them don't worry we'll have a full review at the end of the video and uh, I'm going to give each script a sort of um, score at the end. Either way, people, we are now ready to do the uh, humanist script. I've did this before to do something with, so I'm doing the humanist script, and um, I think I'm going to really enjoy this one. I think I picked it last time because there was no fiddly little bits. Do you know what I mean? But you can see that you can see by the looks of that Z there. It's almost identical to the ones I've just been doing anyway. So it's this, it's like, like over the time, I think they've just copied from other scripts and, and tweaked things. And now it's a new script, is it? Okay. Either way, no quite, no trouble in here. Let's do the humanist script. It's Humanus Minuscule Ductus. They've got a two millimeter nib at six millimeters, 10 millimeters, six millimeters. I'm going for the I'm going to change it slightly for my lineage. I'm going to keep the 10, but then go 8 and 8 for top and bottom. It should be okay. Like I say, if I really like the humanist script, I'm going to build an actual template. Copy it all out, rub out all the pencil marks, line it all, laminate it, and then I'm all in. I'm going to do humanist and copper plate. Or a variety of other ones. But at the moment, I think I'm going to like this one. So let's do the humanist script. For you, again, it'll be like a fast speed run. Hopefully not, not I haven't knocked the camera too much. Oh, that's not too bad. So, people, for you, it's going to be a speed run of the Humanist Minuscule script. Let's do this.
So welcome back, people. Uh, wow, that was a, an amazing thing. That was the humanist. I actually do like it. But now we move on to the next script in the book, which is um, italic. Italic. Italic script. Italic ductus. Now it's got, it's got a real nice flavour to it. If I just turn the page, I'm going to show you something now that blows my socks off. Look at that, people. Look at that. I'm trying to get it all on camera for you. It's just beautiful. I look at it and I think to myself, it's a 50-50, isn't it? I think it's a 50-50. And I look at the elegance of it and the beauty of the italic script. I'm going to say it's 50% black letter. And dare I say it, 50% copper plate, because it's got, it's got like a copper plate-ish, you know, about it. You know, it's got this feel that it's a light copper plate, a little bit. And it's also like black metal or gothic hand. So I'm thinking, it's a 50-50 script, the italic. But it's a script all its own, it's got its own flavour, its own beauty. And, wow, look at that flourish, man. I would die to learn that flourish. So... In a future video, I might look at doing some, having a dab at this thing that we call a flourish. Wow, that's going to blow my mind. Uh, so now we're moving on to the Italic Doctor script. They've got a setup of, let me get rid of these two things out of the way. We don't need them, we need this one. They've got a setup of 2mm nib, Mitchell nib, 2mm. The setup is 8 eight and six so it's eight for the x sides eight for the uh, ascenders and six for the thing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to 10 10 8 so 10 10 8 so just below if it's eight if there is any descenders i'm just going to not go all the way to the bottom of the line it looks like in the book it's only got the lowercase of it it does do the uh, major school of it which is all the capitals but it doesn't have it in that format that it does the minuscule of it. So at the moment, I'm ready to start doing the italic. I've just got to do my X's and let's do this. Uh, I'm looking forward to this one because I think this one might be the one for which I'm going to start making a template for. Because uh, to me, copper plate is number one in my book. It is number one that I want to learn and practice and do stuff with and do all kinds of things. But I've been noticing if you look throughout the age of history, if you look at all the most beautifulest documents of all, you will find italic and copper plate as prominent uh, two scripts, in my view. That's my view. So I can't wait to have a crack at this. It's elegant. It's beauty. So enough talking. Let's do this.
that's it people we've come to the end of the book we've got uh basically the copper plate to do i was in two minds whether to do the copper plate or not do the because i've done it so many times the eight is it i thought no no it's part of the book it's one of the scripts within the book and uh jane sutherland yeah, jane sutherland says it teaches you a little bit different in this book than what eleanor winters does in the other book which is where are you oh, where are you not there not there either got, it's got to be in here there's the eleanor winters book and i see eleanor winters book huh which i previously did a, a review of so if you do want to look at uh, this book it'll be in the description below but right now let's we, this here this shave your pen this cartridge luckily enough is empty almost empty a tiny bit left so i've used all that ink out of that ink cartridge to do uh these eight scripts because there's in total eight scripts okay so i'll be using some ink for this that's in this l'oreal pot i'm going to open that up in a minute and give it a little stir get that up and running um let me get these out of the way the last one was of course remember the italic script i think it was the italic script it was the italic script because it's a new day today and uh, yeah i like it but i'm glad this marathon is coming to an end put them out of the way let me find the copper plate i think it's towards this french petard and then it was um this is the italic isn't it yeah the italic ductus and then the last one on inside this book before all the practice sheets start is of course come on copper plate look at that people copper plate look at the copper just look it's just elegant it's got beauty you can see why a lot of people turn to copper plate but there's after doing it for so many you know, all those other scripts that i've done uh those eight scripts there's a few there that really do have uh, an ultimate beauty let me move that i must have knocked it that's it that's better so now we're in copper plate um and again if you it, it shows you these if it, i'll turn the book in it shows you these uh, detailed things that are how to do the letters you can see that and you got these like disc descriptions on the side now that's for the lowercase um if you look at the uppercase they just show you these extra bits on the sides here so it's sort of not detailed do you know what I mean? they aren't detailed so i'm going to leave that out because it's not detailed but the other letters being the lowercase are so that's why my reasoning why i'm not doing the uppercase of the copper plate or the uppercase of the other letters that don't do it the only uh, uh, script within this book that actually does the minuscule and major scale is as far as i'm concerned i'm concerned it's the celtic so it's only the celtic that does the major scale and the minuscule script and give details so i did i've done it what i said every script within detail so let's do this people i'm gonna have to be a bit inventive with the book where they put the book and I'm going to use um, Jane Sutherland's teachings of copper plate, not, and I must uh, get rid of uh, that on my head anyway from while I do this, and just follow Jane's instructions within the book. I don't know; I might find it easier. I don't know. At the moment, I'm looking forward to this one because it's well, it's my first. Well, at least I did copper, not copper. I did um, black letter to start with in my calligraphy journey. And then switch to copper plate and i actually love it so i don't mind doing it again i mean look at that people it's just absolutely beautiful it's elegant it's beautiful it's amazing it's got a uh, regal type of uh, thing of royalty in there it's it's just beautiful so i can't wait to get started and um yeah let's do the copper plate and um let's for you it'll be like a speed run so sit back, watch me do copper plate on a speed run, and enjoy. Let's do this.
So that's it, people. I've now finished the marathon. Wow, what a journey that's been. Uh, basically, that pen I used all the way through with a two, a two nib. I used majority of the ink cartridge out of there to put that aside. If you want one of the pen sets, I'll leave a link down in the description. I use me, me normal copper plate nib. It comes with the oblique holder and I think it came with some other nibs. So like a set. So I'll put a link to that in the description. You can go down and get one of them. I aren't putting it away until it's totally dry. I've just finished with this thing. So this boot, Jane Sutherland, there'll be a link down in the description for you. You can go and get that boot. That's that. That'll be the first book in the um, on the list. And then because I mentioned this book, the James, uh, the Eleanor Winters Master and Copper Plate Calligraphy, a step by step manual. I'll also put a link to that. And because I used it, I'm also putting a link to this. And it's not. <laughs> <laughs> you might think, it's enough links will but i'm thinking if, if i don't put the links in and i mention something you might say to yourself where's that i can't get i can't see that in amazon so if i can find it on amazon and still sell it i'll put the link in down below now let's go through the eight scripts that i did inside uh what's it called it's called calligraphy a comprehensive guide to beautiful lettering by Jane at uh, Jane Sutherland. Fantastic book. It's not just about script writing, it teaches you all sorts about how to do envelopes, how to do set out letters, uh, invitation cards, all kinds of stuff. So it, there's a lot in there and it and it's hardback. So let's talk about the scripts in the book, what I I like and dislike. The first script I did was the Unicle. Uh, I really like it. I'm gonna actually go and make a template for the unicle and i'm going to invest a bit more time in it because i think it too it's a more legible uh type uh, typeface script so i'm thinking with copper plate for titles and then all black letter for titles and then this as the main body of the text i'm thinking yeah that's, that's, that's i'm going to give this an eight out of ten because it is nice so Unicorn gets an 8 out of 10 for me. Then the next script was the Celtic Major School script. And of course the next script after that is the same script, but in the Minuscule. Uh, I think this one had lots of noggings, lots of iffy little areas. I, I did like it and I don't like it. With the same response to the Celtic Minuscule script, I think I preferred that to the Major School. I did prefer it to, to the major, major school, but I'm going to give it for my standard where I think I am uh, and my score, do I like it or not. Uh, my score, if I don't like it, is around six. So I do like it. I think I need a hell of a, hell of a lot more practice with the Celtic uh, script, major school, major school. Now, the next script out was the Clarigan, which I did like. Uh, but again, this has these little stupid little noggings everywhere. So you've got to do extra bits. So you, you you form the letter, you do the strokes, and then you've got to go back in and do the little, like the B's got this little thing at the top there. Fiddly little bits. And do you know what? I might touch this, but I'm, I'm going to put it on a four because I can't see me touching this, but I might do. It depends if I can see someone actually do the Clarigan. I'm a, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. If I see someone actually performing Clarigan on YouTube and ah, you see, I, I'm looking at it all wrong. I need maybe a book on it. I don't know, but I'm going to give it a four. I probably will go back, but I probably won't. Then the next script out is Gothic, almost black letter. And um, Gothic and black letter are very closely related. The italic is very closely related. But this has a hell of a, a lot of little noggings going about. Little noggin, noggin, noggins, you know what I mean? Noggins all over the bloody place. So, but it's a script you want to get to grips with. And do I like it? Oh, yeah. I'm going to put it on a seven. I'm going to put it just below Unicle. So I'm going to say, yes, I will re revisit Gothic Hand. I'm at the moment, I've just done black letting myself anyway off camera. And I like black letter, and they're very closely related, but 
there's hardly any noggins, but this one's got little noggins. So I'm going to give it a seven. Then I got French petard, my first ever attempt at French petard in all my life. So, and do I like it? Yeah, I'm going to put this at seven because it's got some elegance. I'm loving that S. I'm loving the S. I'm liking the G, and this H is just so fancy. It's beautiful, and I can see me. I can see a body of text with French baton. So I'm going to say it's a seven. But will I make a template for it? Probably not. But I might go back to it and have another crack with no pressure and trying to get the get the film. Do you know what I mean? Do it for the film. Then the next script out was the Humanist, uh, minuscule Ductus. And again, I liked it, but there's little, I think this one, did I have noggins? No noggins, I like it, but I had this funny, funny eye where you put, you, you make a mark and you have to come over the line, but mine looks like a swoosh. <laughs> Either way, the only funny thing that irritated me was the eye. But other than that, this is very closely to the unicle. It really is, it's really close to the unicle. And... I'm going to give it an 8, but I'm definitely going to do the um, Unicle and a template for the Unicle. I like, I do like the Humanist. Then we move on to the seventh one, which is the Italic. And again, I do like it. It's, com it's, it's not far from the, from the Gothic, but it, you can see the differences in, in, in quite a few things. And I do like the Italic. Maybe... Uh, I could use and go revisit it, but use if I can get I can get it without doing anything. What I might use is these funny looking. Come on, give me. I might use these funny looking nibs over this right hand side. You've got like a, instead of being a flat broad, it's like it's a slant, and they're called italic nibs. So I'm assuming if I use these italic nibs. For the italic script, I might get a cleaner line. I also think, people, yeah, this is only for me to have a little practice and have a little go on. The paper I was using, every now and then, I, every now and then, but very rarely, I'd say probably all of that, probably it's a little ridge here. There's, there's a little valley or a little cliff, and me, and me, me thing couldn't go through it, and I found it by doing the copper plate. But I do like the italic, so I want to give that an 8. I'm also going to... This is just absolute beauty. I just love it. I love the copper plate. I haven't been, been practising recently, so I was a bit rough. So if you are impressed by what you see, it's just my my hand and my arm going into it. But I do like... I absolutely adore it. It's a 10 out of 10. I'm just going to keep going with the copper plate. I'm never going to stop, basically. That is the script I practice, uh, and I might go back to the daily practice that I was doing before and and uh, go for it. So I give copper plate a course 10 out of 10. So those are the eight scripts that I did out of the Jean Sutherland book. Wow, people. Get yourself a copy of the book. Try them out in yourself. Um, you probably wonder what that set was. That's the set that you get this with. So that, that pen... And that metal case is what came with this. It came with other, other nibs, but the nib that I got out of it that I practiced with and thought, yeah, that's the nib for me, I'm all in, is this one. I think it, I can't remember the name of it. Either way, keep practicing, get the nib that you like. And once you've got it used and you broke it in type of thing, you'll notice that it holds the ink better. It's got a bit of scum underneath. And that's the, stu that's, that's the stuff there that holds the ink quite well. Now, I've, now before I was doing like three dips to get it to hold, I ain't doing that no more, people. It's one dip and I'm going. Now this nib's broken in. So if you do want to get all this stuff, you can do. The links are below. I hope you watched it all the way through and really enjoyed it. This challenge, this... Calligraphy Marathon Challenge broke me. My hands, this hand, I had spasms in my wrist. That's to take a complete break. Uh, the GoPro footage you can see at the start of, the, of, of this video, that was okay, but the GoPro crashed on me. Um, I ran out of space on my iPhone. <laughs> Backache, neck ache, 
Wow. It was an experience. I've done it. I've done the eight scripts. I've seen it through to the end and I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you have and I want to say thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys. Thank you.